So I'm going to retrofit my old DMX scanner with a high power LED which I got from Lazada. Mga ka-DJ, mga ka-teki-teki dyan. <laughs> Salamat sa panunod. Alright, so this scanner uses 250 watts halogen bulb which uh, will cost you to pay a lot in your electricity bill and it generates so much heat that there's a warning sign in the unit itself because of a too hot portion of this body and what we're planning to do is have it equated with a high power LED which I just got from Masada itself so uh, it's not yet a work today but it's a point in progress we're just going to show you what's inside and how we are planning to retrofit an old scanner with a high power LED so I don't have to shut it off when in use and I can continuously run the whole thing all night whenever I want to without having to worry about the light getting busted okay so this one is the innards and this bulb is busted I'm going to replace it Okay, so the plan is we have to remove this bulb, this assembly with this metal bracket and install a heat sink. Some guy in YouTube did it. The heat sink we need to use is uh, the one we, we can get from old computers, old Pentium LGA processors with a fan to dissipate the heat from our high power LED. So let's open the package. There's the high power LED. This is 50 watts. It's gonna cause blindness and it's going to project a real bright white light. I'm hoping I was able to get the correct color for the diode. This is the 50 watt high power LED. Look at the size of it. Okay. Let's do a comparison here. This is about the size of my uh, wristwatch. Don't know if you can see if you can see that. Roughly, I don't know what we could use for a comparison here. I don't have an old bill. Anyway, and uh, the other uh, thing that came with it that I ordered is the driver. Alright, so this is the input driver that powers the high power L high power LED diode. Let's take a look at it. I hope you can see that from the camera. Let's focus. Alright, there we go. So the input is 100 to 256 volts. The output clearly states it is 50 watts. Alright. We have to look for the power source. So this one goes to the LED itself. We're going to solder. And this should be focused right there. Going through some, some assembly here to the lens and outside to the mirror. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Para sa mga kateki-teki natin dyan na may mga lumang halogen lights. I think pwede natin niya upgrade to. Medyo matrabaho pero worth it. We still save our old gears. Practice and enjoy.